Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Thursday, August 1st, 2019. A fairly benign fire weather pattern is expected for the next couple of days um, with the, the fire potential impacts really just being some continuation of generally wet thunderstorms moving up into Idaho and then eastern Utah today and then drying for the weekend um, with a decreasing thunderstorm activity. We're not really expecting any strong winds, uh, but temperatures will come up across the geographic area for the weekend as relative humidities decrease. Yesterday we did see a pretty good slug of moisture move up into the Great Basin, mainly eastern Nevada, Utah, and up into Idaho, with some heavier precipitation amounts observed over the higher elevations. Initial attack activity remains fairly light. Precipitation for the last 14 days is shown here with the observed amounts on the left and the percent of average on the right. The 2019 monsoon started a couple of weeks ago, and so this is basically the precipitation we've had for the summer. Um, not terrible amounts over the higher elevations across portions of Utah and western Nevada. Uh, but southern Nevada, northern Nevada, and Idaho have been gen generally on the dry side for the last couple of weeks. ERCs continue to remain below normal for the time of year across much of the geographic area. Uh, the areas where we have the highest ERCs are going to be over southwest Idaho and northwest Nevada, and even these values are still slightly below normal for the time of year. This morning's satellite imagery is showing the center of the high pressure located just off to the east, and there is a trough of low pressure coming into the Pacific Northwest. That's uh, increasing the southwesterly flow, and that's what will be uh, pushing the moisture off to the east out of the geographic area over the next couple of days. For today, looking for those lingering showers mainly over eastern Idaho, western Wyoming, and portions of eastern Utah. Most of those storms will be accompanied by at least some precipitation. Uh, relative humidities are still quite low over western and central Nevada and far southwest Idaho. By Friday, we should see some of that drier westerly air moving back into uh, the central portions of the Great Basin. Decreasing thunderstorm activity region-wide uh, with just some lingering thunderstorms over the higher elevations of Idaho and eastern Utah. And minimum relative humidities will be decreasing across the area. And more of the same is expected on Saturday. We will begin to see a little bit of southerly moisture returning to the southern Great Basin on Saturday, but hot and dry uh, generally elsewhere. So we'll see a decrease in thunderstorm activity across the north and just a slight increase across the south. Relative humidities will decrease across Idaho uh, as temperatures increase for the weekend. Three-day precip totals shown here. Uh, the bulk of the precip will come today in Idaho and Wyoming and then eastern Utah and then we'll dry for Friday and Saturday. And then by Sunday there's a chance we'll see some of that moisture uh, move further up into Utah, um, possibly f increasing the chances for showers and thunderstorms, um, but also increasing relative humidities. On Monday we'll see a little bit of moisture wrapping around the uh, western side of the Great Basin. We could see an increase in thunderstorm activity in western Nevada where we haven't seen some for quite a while, uh, so there is a chance that we could see some isolated dry thunderstorms move into northwest Nevada on Monday and then move further north into Idaho on Tuesday. Again, uh, southwest Idaho uh, has been on the dry side so we could see some possibly increase in initial attack depending on what kind of uh, thunderstorms we get up there. And then it looks like we dry out just a bit across the west by Wednesday. The three-day precip totals are shown here, really just accounting for the precipitation we'll receive mostly today and tomorrow, uh, but then possibly um, some continuing th showers across the south early next week. The extended forecast from the Climate Prediction Center for August 8th through the 14th is calling for below normal temperatures across Utah, Nevada, and eastern Idaho, and western Wyoming and return to near normal precipitation over Utah and Nevada 
um, but we're seeing a little bit of an above normal signal there in Idaho. Uh, so we'll see what comes by the middle of August. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.